voltage-controlled oscillator section uses a unique VCA saw core circuit to generate a full-range, temperature-stabilized analog saw wave. The oscillator core used in the microvolt is the fifth generation of the circuit. The circuit was originally designed for the waveform Dura rack module. It was later updated and expanded for use in the SV1 synthesizer and the double helix Dura rack module in 2016. However, the origin of the microvolts oscillator, and really the idea that sparked the entire microvolt, was the primary oscillator module. The primary oscillator was our first small step towards the idea of organic analog synthesis through its use of cascading wave shapers to generate harmonically complex waveforms. The ideas explored in that module became the foundation for the creation of the microvolt. The saw wave generated by the oscillator core is passed through a series of wave shapers to create a sine wave, harmonic sine wave, pulse wave, and fold wave. We're very conscious of the fact that the microvolt is a musical instrument, and so we're more concerned with what it sounds like than what its waveforms look like on an oscilloscope. Frequency is variable from sub-audio, low-frequency oscillator range, to ultrasonic, allowing the oscillator to function as an audio source or full-range modulation source. The frequency of the oscillator can be modulated using the pitch and FM inputs. The pitch input uses the one pulse per octave standard for stable pitch tracking. The pitch input is internally patched to the MIDI pitch output. This allows the octave up and octave down buttons, the MIDI arpeggiator section, to be used for shifting the frequency up and down. The FM input utilizes exponential pitch modulation to create everything from subtle to extreme frequency modulation. Since we're trying to expand the idea of the monosynth, we've actually added a wave folder to the oscillator. That means that we're able to generate much richer timbres than we would otherwise because the wave folder actually adds harmonic content. The controls in the voltage controlled oscillator section include a fine tuned pitch slider, pulse wave pulse width slider, and a fold wave timbre slider with a control voltage attenuator trim pot under each slider for dialing in the perfect amount of CV control. Frequency Mod Trim Pot adjusts the depth of the FM sent into the oscillator. This control is connected to the output of the modulation sources section, but that connection can be broken and replaced with a signal patched into the FM input jack. The Width Mod Trim Pot adjusts the depth of the pulse width sent to the pulse shaper. This control is connected to the output of the modulation sources section but that connection can be broken and replaced with a signal patched into the width input jack. The timbre mod trim pot adjusts the depth of the modulation sent to the wave folder. This control is connected to the output of the modulation sources section, but that connection can be broken and replaced with a signal patched into the fold input jack. Individual outputs for the sine, saw, pulse, and fold waves are available in the patch bay. All the waveforms are sent to the waveform mixer section, which we will be taking a look at in the next video. Until then, try experimenting with different oscillator settings to create new sounds. Oh.